in the 1990s, the 1970s, the 1980s, I was uh, often, say, uh, interested in stereo photography. And I made in that case two dias and they could be put into a viewer. And that was, say, a 35 millimeter camera. And here you see how I made in the past, say, 1985 or so, a stereo camera. Uh, each dia was, say, exposed to the light, etc., etc. And I made it from two uh, cameras out of the uh, DDR, the German Democratic uh, Republic. Here you see what I've done. These are the plates that in a certain way fix the film, press the film to the armature, etc, etc. Very, very simple way to uh, make such a camera. These uh, two cameras were, by the way, Beretta cameras. And when you go to eBay, you can surely find them. Of course, each um, lens had to be set manually to its proper distance. The, say, the uh, shutter speed had to be set, etc., etc. But it worked very properly. I made quite a few stereo dias in the past, and um, even in on, in London in the 1980s. As far as I can remember on the East End market anyway. So this is my stereo stereo camera but um, well I got it uh, new into work into a working uh, situation. Uh, the shutters were one of the shutters did not function properly. But now uh, it functions again. Of course I cannot demonstrate that. It's kind of primitive anyway. Uh, say I made a kind of bar here and two pins that uh, pushed the shutters, both the shutters at the same time. But of course uh, say the force on this bar must be uh, more or less equalized, so you have to push here in the middle of that bar and then it works. But anyway, it works, it worked and worked, it works very good. Now I'm on the second project. I want to make a, a can a stereo camera, and I've used for that purpose two of these cameras, they are Haking Pix Panorama. I have removed the lens and the, the, here and of course I had also to remove the lens at the inner side. Perhaps I can show it when it's possible. I have to open it of course. Uh, this is by the way perhaps interesting to show the shutter and it is a say very very cheap Chinese product but anyway it works good good enough for such an application so here you load the film and then you can push uh, the knob here and when you don't charge it properly the shutter won't work anyway I have to do more experiment with that because um, this gives only say one revolution to push the film through. So anyway, perhaps I have to do more experiments. No problem with that. And perhaps it's even possible. Of course, such a, such a simple uh, camera only has a shutter speed in the range of one uh, sixtieth of a second. So perhaps I can show it. Perhaps you see a flash of light. 
I hope so. Anyway, uh, I will of course, uh, of course I need two of these cameras uh, to be mounted. Say in a kind of series way. So uh, uh, the distance between the eyes is important when you make a stereo camera yourself. And you can see the distance by the way here. This is the distance between say more or less two eyes. Of course there are no standard eyes anyway. There are certain norms and when you are really interested in stereo photography go to certain websites. Uh, there are many websites where you can get more information about uh, stereo photography. Anyway, so I have to say, saw this camera here and also here so that I can connect them together with a certain uh, distance between the two lenses that pick up the uh, the light and of uh, there's there are a few of course always a few problems this is a kind of was a kind of panoramic camera and that means that the film in this uh, original camera uh, has a certain angle here you can see it here that means when I will uh, mount in the future uh, an objective to it uh, this this will give here, the angle here, will give uh, not the proper sharp depth. So here you can see that I've scraped it out somewhat. So now it's flat here. And of course I'm going to do that here. Also scrape it out that it is flat. This will, this will be flat. And here on the back side of the camera there's also a kind of angle here. And I have to say, make a kind of um, whatever uh, contraption to make uh, this uh, plate that pushes the film properly in a flat way here. Uh, that also has to be flat. So I'm surely going to find a solution. Perhaps it's a very kind of spring or whatever. Perhaps some foam, whatever. Anyway, interesting thing is of course the shutter. Here is the shutter of that camera, and it's say the most basic shutter that you can find. Uh, I also have in my uh, stock a Kodak Brownie camera that also has such a primitive shutter. And you can surely find more, much more information about the Kodak Brownie camera of the 1920s. And this is also, say, the most basic shutter that you can uh, expect. What to demonstrate that? Of course I have to, uh, say, charge with the spring. So here is charged. And here you see the shutter. It moves. I think it's one six, one sixties of a second. So it's it's extremely primitive, but uh, you you don't need sophisticated uh, things to get good results. So and I want to show the lenses that I'm going to use. This is one of them. I'm going to mount these lenses, of course, here on the front, the front of that camera. So here the lens will be mounted. I hope it will be a little bit visible. So this is the 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 Hacking X uh, Panorama camera, and I will of course make a hole here, perhaps not a, a hole anyway. Uh, and, and of course I have to say search uh, the right position where this lens gives out on the plate here 
on this plate here a good and sharp pictures. So a, a good idea to, to test that is to use frosted glass and in that case uh, you can test whether the, the, the picture that you want to receive on the film is, uh, is okay. So, kind of new project. I'm absolutely sure that it will work. You see uh, how I made the first, uh, say, adapted the first camera. And well, uh, I have already show, shown how it worked. Anyway, uh, the shutter again is a very interesting, very interesting thing. Of course, this will be a problem when the shutter hangs. So <laughs> that's surely not okay. So that's something to uh, take in account or to repair. There must be something wrong here. Perhaps there is a kind of spring here, a butterfly spring. That doesn't work properly anyway. Everything will be solved. And in this way you can make a stereo camera yourself. Of course you can also buy a stereo camera. There are, there are many stereo cameras on the World Wide Web. Well, this is a spring that I lost. It's a butterfly spring. Anyway, uh, there are many uh, cameras on the World Wide Web and on eBay, etc., etc. I'm not sure uh, if they are all okay. No problems with that. This is a kind of project and well, if possible, I will keep you informed about all that is happening in this project and say I can give an advice to make some stereo dias from your children or whatever. Uh, it's fascinating to see them again when time has passed. To see, say, uh, all kinds of situations, your room, your children, etc., etc., uh, how they were really in the past. Thanks for watching.